And we have page control, it allows you to specifically set this image and what this text says. So when I go to the about, this is, the, uh, this is that background image or the header image. And again, there's a size there, 1440 by 400. And specifically set this title. So if I say above the travel gurus and update, refresh the page, and you get about the travel gurus. Uh, these page modules, there, you can see there's another web app here. And basically in the item, I'll show you in a second, but in the page modules, uh, it's uh, a data link into the page control and it just allows me to put these modules on the page. So you can see that the first page module is the stats list. So when I scroll down on this page, once I get below the main content, here's the stats. The next one is this questions, um, or sorry, contact. So this is, the, this is the contact banner. The next one is the travel guru value statements. So that is this section. So you can turn them off and on. If I don't want that one to show up, I can simply just say, change it to please select. Or if I want to move the newsletter sign up above that, I can change this one to newsletter sign up and this one to the value statements. If I hit update, the page will update and those, those modules will shift on this page. So it allows you to, uh, to set at a page level which, which of these page modules will appear. Now the page modules themselves, if I look at this uh, newsletter sign up, it's real straightforward. All the code is inside of the item description. So I'm really just outputting that. So you do have to have some uh, knowledge of HTML and all the rest of it, but it allows your end user to, once they know what these modules are, if I wanted to even just to manually insert that, say I wanted it higher up on this page. So maybe I wanted it right in the content here. So if I go to the about page and you can see I'm outputting this photo grid web app and let's just say right below that, and I'm just gonna do it from the HTML view because it's a little bit easier for me. Let's say that's where I wanted to insert that. So I can just say, and this, again, think about your end client doing this. So a list of web app items, I'm gonna to go to the page modules and let's just say I wanted to insert uh, Oh, I don't know, the Travel Guru value statements. Insert, and I hit update. And now right here, we should see that value statement show up. And there it is. So the one way that with the page modules, it shows up below the page content for the page, which is typically near the bottom, but you can, you can also insert it right in, the, right in the middle of the page if that makes sense for, for your use case. So that's a real flexible way to get your, allow your users to, uh, to enter their content.